third in the table. And Craig Levine's side at home on Saturday against an Aberdeen team which had taken seven points out of nine in its last three games. United had won their last five matches at Tanner Ice and conceded just the one goal in that winning run. The same starting 11 which tackled Rangers for United, Sandaza and Feeney the front two with a midfield of Flood, Robertson, Gomez and Conway. Two changes for Aberdeen with Kerr and De Vischer into midfield alongside Aluko and Young. Mackie and Miller up front as the Dons chased a first league win at Tanadice for three and a half years. The commentary from Rob McLean. Picked in by Morgado Gomez. Hesitation from Xander Diamond. And Francisco Sandaza has his fifth goal of the season. The hopeful long ball from Dylan, chased by Gomez to the byline. He shouldn't have been able to pull that back. And Xander Diamond certainly shouldn't have tried to chest it down to his goalkeeper. He really should have dealt with that. In nipped Sandaza. And it's his third goal in two matches. Back from Conway to Dixon. Trying to force his way beyond the Vischer. Does. Drives in a great ball. And Dundee United are two in front. It's Warren Feeney this time. Impressive persistence this from Paul Dixon. Not good defending from Jeffrey De Vischer, allowing the ball to be squared across goal. In went Sandaza firstly, but it was Warren Feeney who got the important touch. It's 2 0 United. Sandaza threatening to do yet more damage. Here's Flood and Sandaza saved by Langfield. What a chance for Warren Feeney to make it three. For Feeney having scored his first competitive goal for United to then get his second lovely exchange between Sandaza and Flood. Langfield saved and that should have been in. It's Lee Miller and it's off the post. What a save by Lucas Oluska. The fingertips of the Dundee United goalkeeper are so impressive at Ibrox on Tuesday night. Divert that Miller free kick onto the upright. Luko hits for the byline. That's a great ball in. What a chance for Darren Mackey to bring Aberdeen back into the game. Ricky Foster's cross, Lee Miller's there, what a save from Lucas Saluska. Well, he defied Rangers time and again in midweek, and he's at it again to keep his side two goals in front. Good reactions, good reflexes. Finding a little bit of room for the cross. Missed by Zaluska, back in from Miller, and Darren Mackey brings Aberdeen back to life. The goalkeeper got himself a little bit lost under Aluko's cross. Miller kept it in, and it was deadly Darren Mackey to give Aberdeen hope. It's 2-1. Cat under pressure from Robertson. And Scott Robertson has a chance to set up Sandaza, and it's wide. What an opportunity, 15 minutes from time, to wrap up the points. Mulgrew, driven in for Lee Miller, what a save by Zaluska, but Darren Mackey is following up to square it. Two minutes from time, but it's not going to count. The flag has gone up for offside, and Aberdeen are denied a late equaliser. We started well, we've come on with determination. We knew we had a great chance again at third. Now, the Dean Knight took that place, um, you know, and, and we more, more than held their own against uh, the team that's in third position. That's the goal, I think, for us. Yeah, we played really well in the first half and, and the game could have been finished. Uh, but all credit to Aberdeen. Um, you know, they regrouped at half time and very positive. I mean, to be honest, we were very positive at the start of the game with their, their line up. 
and uh, even more positive uh, in the second half, which Jimmy does sometimes. And uh, yeah, they certainly put us under pressure. Ian United, six straight home wins now, unbeaten in the last nine games. We can see why they're third, can't we? Yeah, good team. Um, got off to a slow start this season. Mm -hmm. We played them at Easter Road and beat them 2 1, where they were probably a bit unfortunate to go away with nothing that day. Um, they've picked up very well since then. Obviously, the draw at Ibrox was, was a great result, and they were a bit gutted not to, to mm -hmm. get the three points. But we've seen there at home, they're, they're formidable. Um, to go 2 0 down there, it's a mountain to climb. Jim, we can debate how unfortunate Aberdeen were by having a look at the United goals, first of all, and questioning the defending. Yeah, it was a tale of two defences, a rock solid and the United defence, as you say, Jim, only conceded only two goals now, and uh, shocking Aberdeen defending. First of all, Scott Seven just got to put that ball in the stand, and then, you know, Xander Dimes got a chance to rectify mm. it, but he makes a, a calamitous mistake as well, and before you know it, you're a goal down in the very, very early stages. Sandaza anticipates it, good striking play here. I mean, Paul Dixon, everyone knows he's left-footed, but it's just sheer determination there to get past the Fisher. And he's got to do better than that. And then, the, again, for me, the ball should be cut out at the front post. <coughs> no one cuts it out. It's an easy tap in for Warren Feeney. But poor defending from Aberdeen there. And, uh, you know, that's something that's, that's blighted them right through the season. Although they have, to be fair, got injuries to Mayer and Considine, which, uh, you know, they, they did mean they had to make one or two changes at the back. 2-0 for Dundee United after 14 minutes. Aberdeen did get better. Um, they did score a goal through Darren Mackey and took it particularly well, despite the fact Zaluska had had a great game up until this point, Ian. Yeah, um, Lee Miller does well, getting the ball back in, and, and Mackey's jumped early. Um, Darren Dodge has, has got no chance here to, to get up once, once Mackey's above him. Um, gave Aberdeen a, a lifeline, and there had a wee chance uh, late on there with Mackey again, but it wasn't to be, and um, I think the start of the game probably cost him. It was a lifeline at 2-1, but then this happened. When we saw this for the first time, I think we thought it's the equaliser, Jim, but when you see the replay, he's probably slightly offside. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a ball on the channel of yours. I mean, he gambles, and he's got to gamble there, uh, you know, and he thinks it's just a tap in, but I f we don't have a great angle on it, Jim, but he does look just offside there. Yeah. And uh, although he's always going to make a good save, Mackey, unfortunately, signaled with the assistant, but he just looks ahead of the play there, just in behind Darren Dodds. And uh, if that's the case, then he has to be judged offside. Dundee United look a very, very difficult team to play against, Ian. They are. They're, they're strong. Their centre-backs are, are big guys. Um, they've got great pace in midfield. And obviously, their strike force at the moment is on fire. Sandaza's come into a great game. I remember Craig Levine saying at the start of the season he was a good player. He got off to a slow start, but mm. he's firing all cylinders now. So, so what easy games are you Wednesday? <laughs> yeah, it's never easy at the tie dice, but um, obviously we, we got there on, on Wednesday night and we're trying to trying to get ourselves picked up after the weekend. And so. they've got to get past this goalkeeper. He's in top form, Zaluska. Yeah, Zaluska's been outstanding. He's been a great sign, and, and uh, you know he's pull, pulling off a range. I mean, that one I thought was a fantastic save because I think mm. he gets through the wall. You know, you see it here. You know, the, the ball he goes round it, but one breaks on the outside, and the goalkeeper's got to push it away. He said he had a fantastic match against Rangers, even though he lost three goals. Mm. And, uh, you know, with, as I said, the two banks of four, I felt that they're very, very consistent than the United now. They don't really change their back four or their midfield. And with a top class goalkeeper behind them, they're a very difficult side to break down. Where uh, Craig does change is maybe occasionally with the strikers. He's got a lot of flexibility there, but a very, very accomplished side now than the United. OK, guys, for the moment, thank you very much indeed. Coming up, PL table ahead of that midweek card coming up Tuesday and Wednesday. Celtic, they maintain a two-point lead over Rangers at the top with ten points back to Dundee United in third. Hearts now fourth, two points further back with Motherwell fifth and Kilmarnock sixth. Inverness, the only winning team in the bottom half of the table this weekend and Hamilton winning their first point, as Jim said, since September the 13th.